What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we've got an animal one, a lioness, head, side view, profile. Okay, so we're going to start with the eye. So, center point of my page is about here. I'm on a landscape orientation page, okay? Just because it's sort of a long image. Uh, and you can fit more in because YouTube is landscape, so. Center point of my page is about here. So the eye is just kind of a little bit of both the center point, maybe a little bit to the left. So center is there, so left and up, small little bit. That's where the eye is gonna start, okay? I'm gonna start with the top eyelid, so we're just gonna curve a line like so, okay? And then in underneath this, we have a circle with the top cut off, kind of ovalish, not like perfect circle, curving around into there, okay? And then the pupil, just inside. Again, slightly ovalish, not a perfect circle, because our lioness is looking off to the left-hand side. So, we make it look just a bit thinner than it would be normally, okay? So then, lions have that black line and mark around their eyes, right? So, kind of curves down like so. And it comes down fairly long down the snout and then back into here and then around the eye. And it's it can be thick and colored in black, but it goes the whole way around the eye first. I'm back to kind of a point back here. And then dark black inside. So then if you wanted, you can add a highlight to the eye. So like just a circle like this on the eyeball and you could add some hatching just to the top sort of section here. Just a bit of shadow underneath the cat's eyelid coming down like that. Like so. So then that top eyelid, it's actually eyelashes. So just comes up like so. And then we'll add a segment coming down just here in the corner. And this has sort of lines and eyelashes and things on it, okay? Just like so. Like that. And we maybe add another dark section coming out from the eye. Just there. Okay, so just above the cat's eye, just here above the corner, they've got sort of a little circular sort of thing that comes out, or like it's it's like a comma, or a lot of the big cats have them. It's sort of where whiskers sort of grow out from around the top of their head. And then you can add a sort of a bump for an eyelid line. It can be furry, it doesn't have to be like a straight line. Just coming out around there and a bottom eyelid line as well. Coming around the eye, like so. Okay, so then the side of the snout, it'll go down towards the nose, right? So the corner of the nose, is somewhere like down here. So coming down diagonally, you've got the corner of the nose just about here. Okay. 
okay? Down diagonally this way. And it will have like various like hatching sketch lines for just coming down like this. Okay, you could do a straight line if you wanted, like something like that. But you know, hatching lines and fur is normally enough on a drawing like that. So we're diagonal down, right? And then the nose, so we'll curve up there, and then it'll go across, like so. And then we'll bring it down the side, just down to a point down here. So it'll sort of go down like this, and then point back up. And we'll go back to where we started for the nose, up and under, like so, up around into here. And then we've got a sort of a dark section and a pink section, so like the pink is sort of here. Comes down around the front line coming up the center like that and there are some sort of extra lines inside here and then some dark real dark shadow you could color down the whole nose black if you wanted but I think leaving a section to be sort of pink would be probably a better choice So like so, right, so that's your general shape for the snout, okay? And you're looking at proportion-wise the eyes to the nose. You could probably fit, so like the width of the eye, right? Say this eye, it'll probably fit down here twice, you know, to get to the nose. So like the width of the lion's eye will go down once, twice, from here to here. Okay, that's proportion-wise. And the nose is about the same width as the eye as well. Okay, so then the snout, so we'll come back up, so we'll go up this way, we're a bit of a bump there, bumps in like so, and again maybe just coming up the center, some fur lines or something. So a curve line like this, and then it changes direction. So it's gonna like curve again, slightly differently. And it's gonna go up the head. And it can be a sort of a bumpy line. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Like so, okay. And a line coming up the center as well. Just a light line like so. Coming up the center of the head. Doo -doo -doo. So texture lines like this, you know, does help sometimes. Like that. And we can see a little bit of the eye on the other side as well. So some of the eyelashes kind of sticking off here, okay? Like just black, sort of, just right across here. So some eyelashes kind of sticking off, just there. And a top eyelid. Line there. up 
towards the head. And then bring it around the top of the head. Going all the way back towards the ear. So we're going back this way. Okay. So this will actually keep going back a little bit further. Back this way. Top of the skull. Get some lines. Just coming along. The top that way, maybe for the center of the head. Like so. Right, so then we'll go back down to the nose and finish the rest of the shape for the head, like the jaw and stuff like that, okay? So cats have, you know, those kind of cat-like mouths, right? So coming down from the nose, we bring, extend that a little bit further, and then we'll go a big, smiling sort of side of the mouth area, right? So it's gonna go, going this way, right? Real serious sort of big, and like down here, it extends out to this dark black sort of side of the mouth area, okay? So it kind of curves around like so. And then goes back into here. And this is like black all inside, okay? Okay, and then the other side of this, just here, on the other side. Kind of a dark shadow in underneath, coming around. Into there, and then we can see just some of the other lip front, the front of the snout on that side of the nose down into there. Again, this is like, will be sort of in shadow, like so. So then the chin, fairly hairy sort of thing, right? So coming around like so. This kind of stuff. Texture lines and things on it. Going out around and we're gonna go up to about here. Okay. up and around so this kind of becomes then a hairy sort of jaw kind of area here and then this will go so this will become so from from here we're going to go to the jaw which goes down and then around and up to to the ear okay so we're gonna keep we'll go keep going this way at first and it can, again it can be sort of a hairy line doesn't have to be it can be squiggly kind of sketchy you know and then there's there is an extra part of the jowl like the sort of jaw that goes up this way A hairy sort of line just here. So 
So we do have some details back in here as well for where the whiskers come out of the face. So we have maybe a line just coming down the snout just here. Light texture line coming down around. Like so, and then we have those dots, whiskers. So like four layers of those dots for whiskers. One. So just they go across in a line across this way. Do you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Like so. So just adding them as you feel. And they go across kind of in a line. So you can't really see any on the other side there, but just a, a sort of section here for the eye socket. Just a light sort of sketch line like that, just suggesting it. You don't have to do much. Little light lines like that are all you need sometimes. Okay. And then whiskers, right? So real long, some short, some longer than others coming down from these right over her mouth. Like so, and maybe some sticking off this side as well. So we're getting there, right? So then the rest of her neck, right? So let's see. So that's the jaw sort of area here. And this is going to go up and around. So that means jaw and then neck kind of underneath, starts kind of underneath the corner of her eye, just there. So that's her neck coming down. Like so. Okay. This is her jaw, right? That means her ear is going to start like here. So this is her earlobe. And this is going to come up around the back of her ear. Up like so. And it can be a furry sort of line. And every now and then it could be like a bite taken out of her ear. Okay, real big. Cats have massive ears compared to the rest of their head. Like so. And this will grow into her head a little bit and then come down this direction. Towards. 
Where's the lobe? Down like that. And then of course inside that ear we have all other sections and things, right? So it comes up like so. So like coming up the inside. A line around there. And then a sort of line around this side. And lots of hair growth and things like so. Hair all like growing up into the center of the ear. And this may be dark inside, so like hatching inside here, you know, just to give it a bit of a shadow inside. you can keep going on that as much as you wanted. Bit of a line just going around the edge of her ear. Like that, and then, so the back of her neck then will come down pretty much from the corner of the ear, kind of in line with her eye. That's the height you're going for, okay? See here? And then we're gonna go diagonal. Down like so. You could have like neck muscles, lines, shoulder muscle lines as well coming down. That kind of a thing. So just adding some hatching, just details coming around the ear there. Okay, so what else? Do, 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 do. So just adding texture lines, little hatching lines like this, just to give the image a bit more detail. I might thicken up the edge of her neck here. So adding an extra thicker line weight to something like this can make the image stand out a little bit more. But that's a personal choice. That's just something that I want to do. You don't have to do that, of course. So just thickening up some of these lines it does make them stand out that little bit more. Um, okay, so she does have another ear somewhere. I think it like starts like there. Uh, it's kind of furry. more like a triangle really on the other side you can't really see much in the way of like detail of the actual inside of the ear it's just got like 
lots of like fur lines and things on it. Something like this. So, nearly there, I think. So she has some sort of whiskers or something sticking off her eye, going sort of like out from here, I think. So there's like something like sticking off this way. there just growing out from her head here but I don't like them I'm gonna remove them <laughs> I'll leave the small ones don't like them ah. Okay, but I think that'll have to do for now. How to draw a lioness head in profile. Hope for yourself, guys. See you in the next one.